So I just want to say uh, thank you. Uh, we are now recording, by the way. Uh, thank you for your time. I really appreciate uh, that you are spending this time with us. Um, and let's uh, get started. Okay. So uh, quantum, uh, just a little bit about myself. Uh, I am David Perlmutter, the founder of Quantum Listing. I started this about three years ago. Initially, we were a, a commercial real estate, uh, uh, an app for iPhone, and then uh, we branched out and created the website when we realized that people uh, love their phones, but not for data entry. Uh, so we now have an iOS version, an Android version, and the web version. I would say that most people do access quantum listing on the web. I am a 30 plus year veteran of the commercial real estate industry. I have a company, a brokerage company called Perlmutter Properties, uh, and it is based in White Plains, New York. Uh, it is licensed in New York, Connecticut, and uh, I am a partner in a brokerage uh, licensed in New Jersey. However, I myself do not have a uh, brokerage, uh, New Jersey brokerage license. Um, I have developed uh, 1.3 million square feet of mostly retail space. Uh, we did that mostly in the 90s with partners and sold off uh, in the last seven or eight years, most of those shopping centers and quantum listing was my way to uh, do something new uh, to build equity and uh, with that uh, let's go arthur maybe you can tell me a little bit uh, in the chat uh, about what you do just so i can make sure uh, that the things are appropriate to whatever it is that you're doing okay so and uh, what you're seeing now is a portion of the quantum listing home screen. This is the page when you first come to quantum listing, what you generally will see um, if you're not logged in. And the home screen, oh, it doesn't look like it's switched. Uh, let me, that happens sometimes with PowerPoint. Okay, did it now? It's still not switching. Let's try this again. I'm going to restart PowerPoint. I'm sorry for the technical difficulties here. All right, it looks like I'm working now. Okay, so, uh, ah, okay, economic developer for the city of Hillsborough, Texas. Excellent. Um, so, uh, what we'll do, uh, Arthur, is we'll go quickly, or as quickly as I can, uh, through the quantum listing uh, real estate. Uh, slide deck uh, which we use which is a good way to get a look at most of the features we've actually added a brand new feature and haven't updated our deck yet uh, but uh, this will give you a good idea of what the quantum listing is all about and then we'll be able to address more of your uh, questions uh, and how we could possibly be of service to Hillsboro uh, so if users were to come to uh, our website or uh, if you had a iframe on the Hillsboro website uh, with the Hillsboro area listings, uh, users would be able to search uh, all of those listings for free. They wouldn't need to be logged in or members or anything like that. Uh, and here is on our uh, at the center of our uh, page is the search box box. So when somebody does choose to be a paying member, uh, they get a three month free trial. And then after that, uh, when they do sign up, we don't collect uh, your credit card information. At the end of your three month trial, you need to opt in. All the payments are uh, handled through PayPal, so they're secure. 
We never see anybody's credit card information. Uh, you can see what the sign up form looks like. Uh, it's pretty simple. We have uh, two different basic types of account membership uh, individual and enterprise accounts. Um, this is a little bit of an oversimplification because what I would recommend if we were to go forward with Hillsboro or Hillsboro were to go forward with us uh, is that we set up a network account that you would be the administrator of and then you would in, be able to invite uh, your real estate broker and owner members uh, to join your network and they could choose to be an enterprise account or an individual account. Uh, individual accounts are for a single user. An enterprise account would be for a larger company that would have multiple agents in it. Uh, sometimes people sign up for enterprise when they're really just an individual. We don't penalize them. Uh, it's $79.99 per year per user once the uh, uh, trial period is over. Uh, so the, your profile page, which is what you're looking at, at a portion of right now, is your home base and on quantum listing. And once you join, you are sent here, or every time you log in to quantum listing, you're sent here. And uh, by the way, Arthur, feel free to ask questions in the chat box, and uh, I will be happy to answer them as we go. Uh, so this is what uh, the profile page looks like. Uh, this is the one for my brokerage company, Promoter Properties. Uh, you can add um, a profile picture and logo uh, to your profile page, as well as some biographical information. And then we also encourage users to add their social media accounts as well. And the more robust you make your profile, uh, I believe the more search engine friendly it becomes. So. Uh, I would encourage your constituents to take the few minutes that it takes to uh, fill out as much of the stuff as they can. Uh, because we were born as a mobile app first, we've tried to make everything as easy as possible. Uh, there is, uh, when on your, a menu on the left-hand side of your profile page, uh, the first item is listings. You click that green plus sign to start adding listings. And what you see on the right-hand side of the page here uh, is what comes up. Uh, the items on the left-hand side of this page are the uh, sort of mandatory items. And the additional parameters are optional. Uh, so you don't have to add an image, but we certainly recommend you do. Uh, you need to add a listing title, uh, choose whether the property is for lease or for sale, uh, or sublease or for sale and lease. And uh, for states like California that have uh, rent quoted in monthly rates, oh, let me, yeah, sure, let me do that. Hang on. Uh, uh, slideshow. Okay, that, let me try that again. For some reason, go to meeting. Uh, it's a little bulky with uh, PowerPoint. Okay, uh, and it's funny because on my screen, it looks like the full screen right now, but I'm seeing on your screen, it wasn't. Uh, here, let me try to see if this, That didn't work, did it? Um, oh, uh, you know what, Arthur? I have a, a, another idea. Uh, and, and this is, is the following. Uh, if you would, uh, 
you, what we could do is have you just join as an individual member right now or enterprise member, doesn't matter which, and then uh, we'll make you the presenter and we'll see, you'll see everything largest life in, on your screen. If you want to do that, we can do that. Just let me know in the chat. Um, Although, uh, uh, just proceed. Okay. So sorry about the uh, the glitch here. It's um, for, uh, oh, you know what? Let me uh, see if it works better with um, just doing it in a, a browser. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, okay, I'm going to sign into my account and uh, we'll be able to do that that way. All right. Okay, so uh, how's my screen look now? Is it that look better? All right. I'm assuming it does, and I'll see if I can make it a little bigger. All right. Uh, so we were looking at. Okay, good. Uh, so here is the screen only. Um, and all right, so you need to add a listing title. Uh, if it's an enterprise uh, account, you can select which agents. You want to add to the listing. You can select multiple agents, which is nice and convenient. You choose whether it's release, sale, sale and lease, sublease. Uh, and then you can also quote rent monthly, annually, uh, by the square foot monthly, or, or by the square foot annually, like they do in California. Uh, we uh, you choose the asset type. Uh, you if you don't want to add the rent, uh, uh, if it's for lease, uh, you can just leave it as zero and it shows up as inquire when you are uh, uh, viewing it on the site. Uh, square feet available, same thing. You can just have it uh, put zero and it'll show up as inquire on the site. Uh, you add the date available and then uh, the other thing you need to do is add a location and then select it from the drop down menu so that it geocodes. Uh, we use a Google Maps plugin. Uh, so most people are fairly familiar with how that works. And you, uh, so once you start typing in the address, uh, then you select it from the drop down menu and you can do Street View and uh, you can make it go full screen if you want uh, for to have a look at it. Um, and then you can uh, click the additional parameters and then add uh, you know, parking, number of offices, all sorts of details about the property, uh, whether the agent is willing to co-broke. Uh, one of the new things that we just added to the site is that uh, you have to check a box saying that you have the rights to the imagery. Uh, this is uh, because one of the other players in the commercial real estate listing space is very litigious and uh, you know, I respect uh, their desire to protect their intellectual property um, and everybody else's, of course. So uh, you know, we ask people to just verify that they have the rights to anything that they're adding. When you click save, and uh, this is, once you've clicked save, uh, your listing goes onto the first page of the site. This, uh, if you're logged in uh, and you're not on your profile page, you just will go to this page. It shows the 12 most recent listings that have been added to the site. Uh, we're very democratic that way. As soon as uh, somebody else adds listings, 
uh, those will then go to the front page and yours will keep sliding down uh, through uh, the site. Uh, the map on the right hand side of the page uh, shows where those 12 most recent listings are added. Uh, this is something that we call a listing card. If you click the listing card, you go to the listing detail page. Uh, you'll notice that at the top of the page, uh, there is a view counter. So whether it's your listing or somebody else's, you can see uh, how many times this listing has been viewed. Uh, I know brokers, when they're doing reports for their owners, like to have that information. Uh, the other thing uh, uh, that if this particular listing isn't an appropriate listing for your, your use, you can search other listings in that market just by clicking uh, the, where it says search for other listings in this location. And then the other thing that is nice is we have sort of a, a freshness uh, date here. So you can see when the listing was last updated. Uh, this listing has multiple images, so you can scroll through the different images by clicking the little thumbnails to the right of the main image. Um, while we're here, we might as well explore some of the other options, uh, the things that you can do from your uh, from a detail page. Uh, you can share uh, listings by clicking this red uh, dot here. And you can see that it can be shared to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, or email. Uh, and so if you click the email button, this uh, little window pops up. You had an email address. You can add multiple email addresses and separate them by commas. And uh, you add a subject line, a little message, and click send. And then uh, it goes to the recipient. And it's um, uh, hyperlinked back to the website. You can add, uh, here's a, uh, the contact information. If I were to click uh, his email address here, an email would open up uh, to Barry Andelson, and it would reference in the subject line the listing that I'm inquiring about. And it would also have a hyperlink in there to that listing. Um, you can add the listing to favorites if you were to click that. You would find it in your on your profile page. Um, one of the things that we'll return to again and again, uh, probably during this, is uh, these little brackets, which you'll see uh, here and elsewhere. Uh, this is iframe code, so you can copy this code. Uh, you have to alter the height, uh, by the way to fit your website. Uh, you copy that code and paste it into a page on your website or in your blog, and it will embed the listing in on your uh, web page. Uh, one of the nice things that users can do is make a private note on any of the listings. If you do that, then and hit save, that note will uh, appear uh, in a link on your profile page, and um, only because it is a private note, only you will be able to see it. So, we'll see it. Uh, you can also create listing reports uh, from Quantum Listing. So, if somebody's doing a survey of properties, uh, you can uh, add any listing to the listing report. Uh, there are two different PDF options here. The first one is export a PDF, which would uh, create uh, a PDF from the information that you added to Quantum Listing. Uh, it's very handy if you don't have your own PDF already. And then the second option would be to download uh, a PDF uh, that you're, you've added to the site yourself. So that's what this one is. 
All right, so uh, oh, then uh, I'll mention the d demographic data here is, uh, this is a link to the United States Census Bureau. Bureau. Um, we use uh, theirs because it's uh, free to the public and uh, we want to make sure that we keep our costs very uh, low for our users and uh, you know, there are plenty of more specific uh, demographic sites out there that you could access, uh, but they do uh, cost uh, a fee. So let me, uh, we're going to go back to the profile page. The way you get to your profile page is in the top right corner. There is a little uh, head and shoulders silhouette. So uh, you click on that. Takes you back to your profile. So uh, here you can see the links to my social media. Uh, there's a little information button here that accesses the biographical information. Uh, here's, if I wanted to ed edit my profile, uh, this shows you uh, how to do that here. Uh, and you can change your password here as well. Uh, all right, so, uh, and then here's the social media links that you saw added before. Here, uh, once again, is the sharing icon, and you can email your profile to somebody and share it on social media. And then you can also, once again, use iframes to add the information to um, your website or to a blog page or uh, something like that. Uh, so on the left hand side below, uh, here's the contact information, by the way. Um, so uh, listings has uh, each one of these opens up a little sub menu listings are your active listings listing archives are the properties that you have uh, sold or leased or the listings have expired or you've taken off the market, we encourage people to uh, archive their listings once they are no longer available uh, for a few reasons. One, uh, it's nice to have a record of the deals you've done. Uh, two is if you have uh, a private note that you've taken on it or you want to leave a little reminder about when you need to collect your commission or anything like that, uh, you can you'll access it through uh, the archived listing. Um, and the third reason is if the listing becomes available again, it's just a little bit less data entry. Uh, if you use the ribbon up here or on the gray stripe uh, on a listing detail page to save a listing, uh, you'll find it here on your saved listings. Uh, all right, so uh, because Perlmutter Properties has multiple agents, uh, we've, uh, you can see all of our agents here. Uh, and then you can also add managers to help with the workflow uh, as well. So networks uh, are something that we started a couple of months ago. And what we've done uh, is created a network for each state. And here, um, the um, and then we've added uh, our users to their respective state network. Uh, you can request here to be added to additional state networks. Um, and it, one of the nice things about the networks is that it makes it very easy to see the most relevant. Uh, listing information for you. So what I would propose if you wanted to proceed is that we create a network for Hillsboro uh, and, and then all the Hillsboro listings uh, would be together in your network. Uh, network news 
uh, shows you the latest things that have happened in your network, uh, when people have added listings, edited them, uh, if they've added agents, and so it's just kind of a good way for the network members to stay uh, in touch. Um, the and you can and the way you would put the uh, network listings on your website is through an iframe and I'll show you uh, uh, what that looks like uh, in a little bit. Uh, groups are a brand new feature which we just rolled out uh, last week. Um, the groups are similar to the networks in that they're an aggregation of different brokers and agents. Uh, however, uh, networks are something that you know we uh, you know we set up on behalf of people, and groups are sort of more grassroots. And you can set up your own group. This would also be another option for Hillsboro. Uh, I don't think we have iframes enabled for groups yet, but we could probably arrange for that. But I think networks are probably the way to go. Uh, and then similar to the network news, uh, there's a feed that has information on the latest things that have happened within your group. Uh, you can shoot, be a member of more than one group. You can start more than one group. Uh, and again, uh, there's no additional charge for being a member of a network. There's no additional charge for starting groups. It's all included in the $79.99 a year membership. And um, obviously, it's free during your trial period. We are uh, in the groups, we have uh, some chat features uh, available now, and we're going to be enhancing them, I think, in the next week. Uh, so the different icons, you can, if it's your own group, you can edit it and add people. You can enter the chat. You can see uh, information about the, the group. Uh, you can see the number of users. Um, and there's you know, several pages of users in this particular group. Uh, you can see the listings. And actually, you probably could use, uh, it's not an iframe, but you could probably use this code as a way to show a group um, just thinking out loud. And then uh, group chat. Uh, I don't think there's any chat messages yet in this group. Um, and okay, uh, so group member, and then you know, here on this menu you can see the same thing that we just looked at: the members and, and the listings. All right. So uh, one of the nice things about quantum listing is we've sort of emulated some of the features of different social networks in some ways. So, and again, this is you know an attempt to make uh, information more easily available uh, with less work. So if you were to go to somebody's profile page, you'll see that there's a option to follow that user, and then you would be able to find them uh, here, uh, where you're following. Uh, oh, these are the people who are following me. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Let's go back. Uh, oh, I didn't. Uh, so this is where you would see the people that you're following. Uh, you can click through to any of them and see their listings if they have them. So that's just another nice, easy way to access people's information without having to do a search. And then the stream uh, shows the latest changes to listings in your network. So this is a great way for uh, people to see uh, you know, the newest listings. Uh, info has a few different things available down here. Uh, there's analytics, which will show you 
uh, the number of views, your listings cumulatively have gotten over a week, a month, or all time. Uh, see, we use it a lot, and we've gotten over 6,000 listings. All time in this case is, I think, since October when this analytics was uh, introduced. Uh, account views would be the number of times your profile was shown. And uh, networks also have analytics as well. Uh, eight and that are uh, view, viewable by the admin. Uh, agent views show uh, the number of times your agents have been seen. Profile shares would show uh, how many times your profiles have been shared. And you can drill down and uh, by email, Google Plus, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, or Twitter. Uh, same with the listing shares. And you can uh, you know, drill down by the, how they're shared. And you can see the number of uh, times your PDFs have been exported uh, as well. So that shows you uh, everything. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry, not everything on the top sidebar. Um, uh, notes. Uh, oh, here's, remember, I left the note on uh, one listing and wrote, hi, Arthur, and you can see that uh, here. So uh, that's where you would find your notes. Yeah, let's go back. And uh, we have a new thing that we started a little while ago, which is a comparable database. Uh, this hopefully over time will be uh, embraced by our users and become a valuable resource uh, for our users. Uh, but you know, when there's, you know, right now, it's a fairly new feature and there aren't that many listings in it yet, but uh, hopefully you know, since we, as we grow, more people will use it. Uh, syndication channels are uh, another new thing that we've added recently. Uh, we have two different types of syndication. One, uh, which is uh, we are, have a partnership with a company called Buildout that does uh, beautiful marketing material. And from the Buildout website, you can check a box and uh, choose to have your listings sent to Quantum Listing. And as you update them on Buildout, they get updated on Quantum Listing. So that's a really great feature. Then we have a new relationship. Uh, this one actually launched today. Um, and this is with Levitt Digital. And Levitt Digital is um, also, uh, I guess they have a syndication excuse me, relationship uh, with 500 different newspapers. I think the newspaper group is I think, called the Global Media Group or something like that. And so they, uh, and listings are, that we'll push to them are in turn sent to those newspapers. Uh, you know, the relevant listings will show up in each market. Uh, so it's another great way for uh, users to get exposure of their listings. Uh, so that sort of takes you through the basic part of the website. Um, I think uh, I'll pause here for a second and uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, in the chat box. While we're doing that, I'm going to, uh, to give you a little peek behind the scenes here. And uh, since you're in Texas, I'll go to the Texas network. All right, so this is the Texas Network dashboard. If you were to go forward, you'd have a dashboard similar uh, to this. Uh, you would be able to see your network listings. 
where you see this 350 by 150, it's where people haven't added uh, images. And it's sortable by, uh, you can search by location, you can search by the network member. Here, we'll pick a network member. So here's Brad Harrell. And uh, uh, so you can see he's got a number of listings. Uh, let's see. And you can go to his profile page. And he's got 55 listings. So he's got a fairly <laughs> very robust uh, uh, set of listings. Uh, you can see who all your network users are. Uh, you can see whether they're paid and up to date. Uh, not that that would be your responsibility. Uh, and it looks like we have uh, one, today, hang on a second, uh, one, two, six, 12, 17 times eight. Uh, so, you know, over, a little over 100 uh, users in the Texas network right now. And uh, listings, there appear to be about 630 or so Texas listings right now. So by no means are we, uh, uh, you know, got blanket coverage yet, but uh, we're just getting started and we're growing at a pretty rapid clip. Uh, I would say, you know, nationwide, we're probably getting uh, anywhere between 50 and 100 new users every week. Uh, and, you know, somewhere between 750 and 1,000 uh, listings. And, you know, much of that is thanks to this relationship with Buildout, uh, I believe, which we started about a month, month and a half ago. Uh, they have, you know, several thousand uh, users and hundreds of thousands of listings. So I think as people go on and update, uh, their accounts there, uh, they'll be uh, checking the box to syndicate listings to us. We have other relationships like the build out relationship uh, in the works as well. Uh, one of the other things that you would be able to do as the network admin is uh, be able to ask, uh, email your membership and uh, so that would be a nice feature for you potentially as well. Uh, right. So let's see, uh, I, network listing is, I'm not sure what, what happened to network analytics. Uh, did I miss that somewhere? Oh, wait. No, here's network analytics, okay. Um, so again, like on uh, the analytics we looked before, there's you know, a variety of things that you can examine and uh, see. Um, and the way you would get all this onto your website uh, is through this iframe code. Uh, and the only adjustment you would really need to make is where it says 100% here for the height. Uh, you would choose how long you want it to be, I think probably 2,000 or between two and 3,000 uh, pixels is what generally works well for this. And we you know, help you tweak that to the extent you can. But uh, you know, getting quantum listing to work on your site is really, really easy. Um, and you know, it doesn't, you know, it'll take, you know, half an hour at the most or probably a lot less of your web guy's time, assuming you have a web guy or of your own time if you're the one who does that. We have, uh, you know, the reach out to EDCs is a new effort by us. We have uh, had one uh, agree to give it a try last week and uh, they haven't done the implementation yet, uh, but they, are looking forward to it and you know, anything we can do to help, uh, we, you know, we will, uh, whether it's, you know, providing you marketing material for them or, 
uh, doing webinars like this for your constituents. Uh, you know, we'd be really happy to do that for you guys uh, to make it uh, as painless as possible. Uh, that EDC, which is in Tuolumne County, California, uh, is the thing that they have in their budget. Uh, if their members were balking at paying the $79.99 a year, uh, they would either subsidize it or cover it for their membership. But you know, the important thing, obviously, to them was to get uh, the listings on their uh, uh, their website um, so that uh, people can uh, access it and hopefully bring more economic development to Tuolumne County. Uh, I did notice uh, a little while ago that uh, on your, I looked at uh, the Hillsboro uh, website, and I believe um, that the uh, where was it? Uh, I did see you had a web page uh, somewhere. Uh, I lost it. Hang on. Uh, for your ED uh, for your listings, but uh, it was. Pretty much a blank. Okay. Oh, here we go. The Hillsboro Real Estate Database. Did you have something on there before, which no longer um, uh, is available, or this was something that you were looking to implement uh, going forward, or a little bit of both? Oh, thanks for the link. Let me try that. There you go. A nice looking page. Sites and buildings tool. Okay. That's great. Uh, and so yeah, sometimes those Google widgets are a little finicky. Um, so is this something that you've been implementing yourself or that your members do? How does uh, this page work for you? Arthur. I'm guessing since it uh, is uniform looking uh, that you're probably the guy who has to spend uh, yeah, it yourself. Okay. So yeah, I mean, one, obviously you could still uh, you know, do it yourself if you wanted to, but uh, hopefully you would be able to convince um, you know, all these you know, folks uh, whose listings they are to participate in the effort to, um, uh, you know, add the stuff uh, to the website for you. Um, but you know, it looks like you did a nice job here. And um, any questions you have at this point? It might be easier. I'm going to type my uh, phone number here in the chat box, 914-470-5719, uh, and perhaps we can talk. Site selectors use our site. We have one of the nice things uh, about our site is that anybody can look at all the users listings for free so you don't need there you know, there's no paywall to look at things there aren't some listings that are premium and available to everyone and the rest which aren't available unless you pay something uh, so the answer to your question is an emphatic yes one of the you know, advantages of coming to uh, you know, de developing this website as a real estate broker is that I know what I want as a broker is for as many people as possible to have access to the information. Uh, so, uh, you know, that was really important to me uh, when I was you know, embarking on this effort to make it 
accessible to all. I know there are other websites which don't feel the same way as I do uh, about that, but um, you know, coming to this as a broker uh, makes uh, me, me think about these things uh, on quantum listing as you know, a, a broker and, and you know also an, an owner and obviously I'm an occupier of space uh, as well so uh, you know I think I have a fairly good perspective on at least people like me uh, what they want obviously everybody's a little bit different out there uh, but uh, I kind of know what I want it to be and the other thing is because I am you know 56 uh, and realize I don't know everything, I am really open to suggestions uh, and don't think that I know everything. And I can tell you that a lot of the great ideas that we've uh, been able to implement on quantum listing, like the networks and the groups, uh, came out of user suggestions. So I really love having you know, conversations with users and prospective users and finding out uh, you know what it is that's going to make the site more useful to them are you at the 